this is going to be the first installment of Project Chucky. So, a lot of you guys, when you guys watch my videos, you always comment about this Chucky doll, which is my Seed of Chucky Chucky <laughs> from uh, Sideshow Collectibles. If you guys notice here, this is the Child's Play 2 poster, which is my first... Um, that was the first Chucky movie that I ever saw. I didn't see Ch Child's Play 1 until after I seen 2. So, ever since then, I've had an obsession with Chucky. So, um, throughout the years, I have purchased plenty of dolls, but none of them have been very accurate when it, come when it came down to the good guy dolls. So, you guys know this particular Chucky doll that is usually sitting back there in my videos. I took him down for this reason. He is the most accurate Chucky that you're ever going to get. As of now, um, he was done by Sideshow Collectibles back in 2009. He sold originally for 400, no, 549, I think. And then once people, I think it was 800 and something that was made of him. And then I think I got number 11. And then now these dolls are going for like $3,000 on eBay and $4,000 on Amazon. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, but this is the most accurate. The the, um, the sweater, the um, overalls are very accurate to the movie. The shoes are very accurate to the movie. Everything from his eyes, everything is very, very, very accurate to what the movie is. So, I was very pleased with this doll, but I still felt a little cheated because every time there has been a version of the good guy doll, it has never looked like Chucky. It always looks like a knockoff version. So, this doll, people always ask when they see him in my background on my Instagram videos, they be like, oh, when people ask in the comments, like, where did you get the doll from? A lot of people will give them a link or tell them to go to Spencer's. This is a Spencer's doll, okay? Oh, this doll looks nothing like this one, as you can see. There is a big difference, okay? This would be an iPhone. This would be an Android. Sorry, Android people, but I'm just saying, okay? The overalls are not accurate. Accurate. They're the wrong color. The shoes are all wrong. He's stiff as hell. He looks nothing like Chucky. So this is not what you want to do, unless you just want a Chucky doll. This I had that one when it first came out, and I just... He's been, he needs to get thrown away because I just, but I wanted to keep it for this particular purpose. So for the, for about a couple of years, I have been on the internet searching to find things, props from the movie and things will come up and they'll just be so expensive. And I've been looking for a lot of stuff from Child's Play 2. I don't really care too much about Child's Play 1 or Child's Play 3, but Child's Play 2 is what I wanted to go for wholeheartedly. So I had did a lot of research and I was trying to find things and things were popping up and things weren't. So a couple of years ago, um, there was a mask. What was it? it? was a head replica of the first Child's Play movie, the first Good Guy doll. And for a lot of people who don't know, throughout the years, through the Chucky movies, the dolls change depending on who the design team is because some materials are better than versus what they were then. You know, so they change things up, which causes the doll to look a little bit different. So Ch Chucky has a lot of issues with um, kind of staying the same. He, he changes throughout every movie. Like Child's Play 1, his face was a little bit bigger and he looked a little bit very doll-like. But the second one, he had more like a soul to him. So it, he looks a little bit better. For the, for the naked eye of the person who hasn't watched these movies, you probably think they all look the same, but they look very different. But Child's Play 2, in my opinion, because of the whole factory and everything, it felt like the most authentic Child's Play movie to me to this day. So, I'm like, I think I'm just going to go ahead and build my own. I've seen a lot of people build their own, um, and they've done amazing jobs, but I just don't feel like it was done as the because the materials were not afforded to them type of situation okay so i'm going to create my own good guy doll and i have i'm well into the process right now so this will be the first update and i'll probably end up doing about five or six of these so the first thing i want to show you guys is this head and this head i'm not finished carving out his eyes so this head is an exact replica of the child's play 2 chucky head um, this is what it looks like all the way around. I have no clue what this is on the side of his face, but whatever it is, I will probably end up, um, buffing it out anyway. 
But this was pretty much cast. It looks a little oranger. No, it looks about the same um, as the one from the movie. So if you watch Child's Play 2 in the very beginning, there is a pretty much a skeleton in its head. A lot of times the dolls that were made like this from like Chinese companies, the clothes would be accurate, the shoes would be okay, but the head sculpt would be so off. It would not look anything like Chucky. It would look like a version of Chucky. So this is actually molded from an, an exact Child's Play 2 replica head from the movie. So that, this is about as, this is as good as you're going to get. It's made out of actual rubber, so it's actually heavy. So it sounds like, remember like a, um, <laughs> like a ball you would play with at school? That's what it sounds like. Um, I didn't know when I purchased this head from the seller that it was going to be like closed off back here. So I have to put a slit through the back of his head and I have to drill through his eye sockets because I did buy eyes for him to use. I don't want him to have, I don't want to draw his eyes in. I want him to actually have like acrylic eyes. So that's going to work. However, I found someone else on eBay who has this head, but it's a white blank and it's very smooth and it's not nearly as much as I paid for this head. It was ridiculous. However, I think I'm going to use that one because I can hollow that head out versus this one. I'll keep this one because you never know when I might need it again. But I think I'm going to use that one. And that one is probably a little bit um, lighter as well. So recently, I got Chucky's shoes. And these are exact replicas from the movie. Um, this is what they look. This is the bottom of the good guy. These are the side. This would all be white. And these stripes also would be white. Um, as well as his good guy shoestrings. And I have two sets of these shoestrings just in case something happens, you know. Um, so I'm going to put these in after I spray paint these. I actually have some spray paint that I, and I have to also trim the extraness off of these shoes as well. But these shoes are actually screen used replica shoes because even my, even this doll his shoes are nice, but there are certain things about the shoes that are missing. So they look the same, very much so they look the same, but there are some inconsistencies. Just like, look at the font of his, um, of his shoe. Look how little the font is of the good guy versus in the movie version. Look how big it is. So it's a difference. And these are little things that I look at, you know, cause I'm just anal about it. So, um, I have to paint these and I have to trim these. Uh, and then the other thing is his overalls, which it seems to be such an issue. Even when I see people make their own, they never look like the movie version. These overalls that he has on are bloodstained. So, and they have rips and tears in them from what happened in the Bride of Chucky. So, yeah, well, this happened in Child's Play 3 and then he was sewn back together. So this is pretty much what the, these are not usable if I'm trying to make a good guy doll. It's like, why would he have those on you know what i'm saying so i have my own as you can see fabric and this actually was taken because a company called medicom which is a uh chinese i think it's a chinese based company um they actually made these good guy bags with wallets so instead of trying to find the right kind of corduroy and then try to find all of these decals clean them up then screen print them i just simply brought two of those and then i pull all the seams out of them so that i can pretty much sew a pair of overalls with both of these that will be screen accurate to the actual good guy doll so i just have to tint these because if you notice that the color of these and these are very similar but these are just a tad bit darker so the yellow that is on these is it shouldn't be well on camera is looking quite right so we'll see but i know for a fact that these should be a little bit darker but after i sold them and depends on how they i like them then i might keep them like that i don't know yet um and then the rest of chucky's body which would be his arms his torso and his legs are on the way so I will be back in a couple of weeks with an update about how far I've gotten with this. But I did feel the need to show and share for those who want to do the very same with their good guy dolls. Are you a Chucky fan and you want to try your hand at it? Why not? Um, the head was off of eBay as well as the shoes were off of eBay and the shoe strings were off of eBay. So if I was you, I would look up Chucky props, Chucky replicas, 
keep that in your follow because you can follow on eBay now and just keep that in there. So if you're looking for something, every time somebody posts something with that particular name, you can automatically go to it and see what it is if you need it or not. So, um, yeah, I'm also have to find the correct color for if I do use this head, I'm going to use a flesh color um, spray paint to go over this head. Um, and because it's way too yellow, like it's like very orangey yellowish. And as you can see, this is not the color of Chucky. <laughs> That's not even close. But they do have these um, like pink, the like pink skin tone um, spray paints that work good on rubber. And also, I have another spray paint that's white that I used on one of my Barbie, uh, it was Ken's Mini Cooper, and I spray painted it white, and it's the spray paint that I used was made for plastic and rubbers, so it'll heave and not fade or dissipate or mess up the materials, it'll last a lifetime. So I'm going to use that for his shoes. So once I do that, I will come back and give you an update on what's going on, but I wanted to share this with you guys because I thought this would be a good for me to be able to look from the start to the finish. But I've gotten pretty far um, so far about what I want to do. So Chucky is on his way. And I will catch you guys in the next one.